Oh, yes, I do. I mean it. I put up with a whole lot of crap around here because I thought I was dying. And you thought I was dying. And you th started taking over. Well, you can just stop taking over now, Ida, because I am not going to die. No, I am not dying of cancer like you thought I was dying of. Ain't that so, Ida? Didn't you have an idea that I was dying of cancer and now you could take control of this place and everything on it? I seem to get that impression. Your loud voice everywhere. Your fat old body buttoning in here and there. Rut the goddamn preacher. Do you hear what I said? I said, rut the goddamn preacher. Well, I've been through the exploratory operation and all just so I would know whether you or me was the boss around here. <laughs> well now, it turns out that I am and you ain't. And that's my birthday present and my cake and champagne. Because for three years you've been gradually trying to take over, bossing, talking, sashaying your fat old body around the place that I made. I made this place. I quit school at ten years old and went to work like a nigger in the field. And I rose to be the overseer of the straw and ocello plantation. <laughs> and old straw died. And I was Ocello's partner, and the place just got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I did all that by myself with no goddamn help from you, and now you think you're just about to take over. Well, it turns out that there's nothing wrong with me but a spastic cold. Made spastic, I guess, by disgust. By all the goddamn lies and lies that I've had to put up with, and all the goddamn hypocrisy that I have lived with these 40 years that we've been living together. Hey, Ida. Blow out the candles on the birthday cake. Just purse your lips. Draw a deep breath and blow out the goddamn candles on the cake.